owner of the football. Yeah, we'll get a good look at it right now. He gets maybe a... straight ahead and not much across the 30. Going. Any, anywhere between 18 and 20 guys into this lineup keeping fresh bodies going. That's an unbalanced line and they run in that direction with Pede and ball came out. But... And here, here's a nice look at Pede just running right at you and you see the ball gets knocked out and that's something Vanderbilt has really Pressure coming from the edges. Kalaros is knocked down and almost lost the third card today. Playing it straight. They'll go to Pete. Bounces off the blockers and he will get perhaps the first first down. Vanderbilt brings a blitz here and you're going to see here they all come. You get a hat for a hat but the vision of Isaiah Pede is what allows him to cut all the way back around. Thousand yard rushers in the Big East. And the Big East Offensive Player of the Year gets the football again. Breaking through some arm tackles. Plays off another block. He has another first down before he's pushed out of bounds. And they go for maybe a one yard gain for Kalaros and the UC offense has had some terrible field position lately. They hand off to Pede and Pede across 15, 20, 25 and he gets down to the 27 yard line a little bit. Pede stays in the block. Kalaros is just overwhelmed. You see on 13 following the Kent punt. And I go to Pede and he, they, they move the same way. He's got four tackles already at 84 on the season. This is Pete trying to get outside. Gets away from one. There's the vision and the cutback ability. ability you're going to see. Watch, he's lateral. His shoulders are perpendicular to the line of scrimmage. And yet, when he puts that foot in the ground, he is able to get up the field in a big hurry. That time. Large part. They're not sure what they got there as his backup. And I'll get more into that after this play. Take a shot down the field. And he has an interception that led to Vanderbilt's touchdown. This is Peed, and he, what a great tackle. Perfect foot. Now they got an empty backfield. They're going to throw this one. And Kalaros, they go to Peed, and a tunnel screen. Peed, oh my goodness, what a move. And Peed is still going. Peed, right up the middle. Peed, just short of the first down. In a hurry up situation towards the end of a half. And there was an example there, Ray, as Peed gets the finish. You got test coverage, you might want to go over the top. This play works. Pretty much giving it to him hey, again. This is the first real drive Cincinnati has yeah. had in this game. Under a lot of pressure, lobbing it to the end zone of the back. Pressure dropped. The not a hundred percent of the moment, and neither of the Commodores have turned the ball over twice. But we haven't played three minutes of the third quarter. But the. Steps up in the pocket and is sacked. He had no chance. Comes an edge rusher. Here he is. He's just going to work around the edge. He's going to keep coming. He's going to beat Isaiah P. Just gets his hands on him and collapses. The UC faithful, but once again, miserable Bearcat field position. P. ran into his own man, but that was because of the effort by the Vanderbilt defense. For twists and turns this year. And there could be one in this game. P. on second down and a dozen. Got back the lost yard. Formation, and maybe that's what Coach uh, Mike Pajaki and the offensive coordinator is going to go to. And they'll run the handoff to Isaiah P. There's that vision and cutback ability for Kinship with West Virginia, who's playing in the Discover Orange Bowl. And P. He can't can, can escape. No, P. In motion. And on his own read, it's P. Looking for, oh my goodness, what a run this is. Wow. Yeah, I mean, watch him. He's going to, the vision there, the quick feet, the hop steps, and the, just the indomitable will. 56 for Vanderbilt today. Plenty of time for Kalaris. Whoa, and a throw too high. Look at Pete takes that shit then for all they do for us. Bubble screen, Pete. 
Pressure from the edge. Kalaros hangs in. One on one coverage. Underthrown and it had no chance on it. Now here's Kalaros. Let's see if we can see anything with them. What Kalaros did to get himself ready. That's why he calls it the best story in college football bowl season this year. And the second best story. Oh, Isaiah Pete went for the fair catch. Went for it. Here's your classic muff right here. Took his eyes off the ball. Slid. Always wanted to do, and he's you know, been raised to do it in his mind, and he's looking forward to it. But yes, he, he is. Finish this one out. Well, he's got Isaiah P. That's always a good idea. Yeah, incredible explosiveness. I, I see him as uh, somebody uh, getting a steal in the draft with him coming up next April. And one, two, they have picked things up throughout this ball game. And they go to Pete again. This time he just disappeared. Gonna give it to their big man, but that's time Pete. There are a bunch of war daddies up there. Kalaros, a little option for Pete. Can they make two people miss? No, they get him. It's a Vanderbilt. May not be an issue yet. Why? This is gonna help them as Pete get. And this is Isaiah P. Turns on the Jets. Pete inside the 15, and he's finally. Is outstanding. Watch these guys step, 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 and get their blocks. And there's nobody getting off a block. I mean, nobody's able to get off the block and get over. Start to use those two timeouts. It's Pete again. They may not have to. He'll stroll in. Isaiah Pete may. Yeah, he started out a little slow, but I tell you what, Isaiah Pete. And it really came to play here this afternoon. The cutbacks that he's been able to do, and then the, the quick feet, and he just won't go down. One man very seldom will be able to get him down. And then when he does put the foot in the ground and turns it up north and south, oh, he's extremely explosive. I mean, this guy is a next level type of runner, and you will be hearing his name quite a bit on Sunday afternoons, I have to imagine. And here it is, his other touchdown that he had. Uh, actually, uh, yeah.